Hello there, and what we're going to do today is go over creating the, the turtle and the logs up top and being able to reach the home uh, home location for the, the frog and be able to spawn back at the beginning to, to keep playing. So let's get started. So once again, what I've done is break this out into uh, two sections. Uh, one is the the new items that we're, we're going to add and the other is what we're revising. So the first one we're going to add is the log. So the log is going to have a parent of, of the safe, of the safe block that we originally added. The safe block doesn't have anything other than sets the visibility. But we're going to add this safe. This log is going to have the parent as a safe. And we're going to make sure when we create it that we call the parent so it doesn't show up. And then the create event where so the log is going to have a length as well as a scale. So this will be how long the log is is going to be drawn, and the scale will be how long the underlying image is. And that's for modifying this the safe object. That allows us to have a, a large uh, collision box, depending on, the, on the, the actual size of the log. The image speed will be for any animations that we might have. So in this case, we added a waves for the, the log to have. And then these images, we're just setting image 0, 1, and 2 for the different parts of the log. So the step event. All we're doing once again is just checking to see if we were too far off the screen and if that's the case then we'll go ahead and get rid of the, the log so the draw event where we're doing our original log sprite has th uh, three parts one is this the left side middle and then the right side so what we're doing is depending on which part we're, we're drawing. So in this case, zero would be the left side. We're going to draw the zero, the left. And if we're at the, the far right, we're going to draw the right side. And everything else in the middle would just be the middle portion of the log. This way we can have at any number, any length, really any length greater than two, and it'll draw properly. So the other thing we're adding is this these waves. Uh, created a wave sprite just to add a little more variety to the if you look at the original game it's just this log that moves across the screen I wanted to have a waves kind of creating a wake kind of a V shape we accomplished that by depending on which direction we're, we're at we're either going we're gonna start the drawing either one object further to right or further to the left as well as we're going to modify the x scale so it's either being drawn to the right or to the left and then this y will be whether it's how close it's being drawn towards the log so one direction will be closer to start and this is just to give that that v shape and at the end we have this to, to show the the alpha so the further along it is the, the lighter it, it looks we next then have the the turtle once again this is going to be a safe object as parent make sure we call the inherited give it a length and a, a animation speed as well as a sw swim rate we're just determining once again if we're far enough off the screen we can go ahead and delete it and the draw this is a simple draw which is we're just drawing the number of a number of turtles needed to, to make up the group. The frog home, uh, what we'll do is when we hit the, the home object, we're going to create this frog home character. And all this is is the, the frog home sprite and nothing else. We, hit, we then have the, the water spawner. This will be what is generating the, the, either the turtles or the logs. Uh, there's nothing here so the water spawner will based on 
give it the, the basics we need to determine where half fast and what it was going on as well as determine predetermining a speed for the, either the log of their turtle or giving a generic speed if we added something that something else the alarm we'll call our spawner script similar of the way we did with the the cars and then we're going to call this more frequently to, to create things uh, spawn things more quickly depending on which way we're at so our spawn our spawner script once again for future use would be the spawn, uh, spawn ID in the wave and then we depending on the sprite that we have set for the object we're either going to create a log or a turtle and then give it the length that we've already assigned um, the, the spawn object. This uh, horizontal speed, we've, I've added a formula for when the farther you, the more times you complete the the level, uh, it'll get faster and faster. So the home object, what we've done is modify this, created this player a collision with the player. Uh, added a collision with the, the player object and then have added uh, we add the score go ahead and get rid of the player and that move uh, create the the frog icon at the home location and what this will do because back if if you remember the game the game object is always checking to see if the player exists and if the player doesn't exist, it's going to put it back at the spawn point. So up here, when we destroy the, the frog, it'll respawn the player back down at the bottom. We've modified the player. Uh, we're not colliding with anything. What we're doing previously, what would happen is if you wound up in water, there would be a splash. Well, in this case, we've added, modified the, that same location. We still have it if you hit the water, you're going to splash. But in this case, we're also going to check to see if we're safe. And if we're safe, then we're going to, to move based on the underlying object, which is the log or the turtle, either one, because they both have that as a parent. So in this case, we're checking that we're in water. And if we're in water, but we're in a safe place, we'll move the player. And what we did down here with the hopping is did the same thing. If so, when we're in motion, what well, happens if we're safe? We'll go ahead and, and move one way or the other. And this allows us to look a little bit. It, it makes it look better when you're on the log and you're trying to hop right or left. Otherwise, you don't have that that speed moving with you. Looking at the room that we uh, created, what we did was put the spawners on the right and left side and added different objects. So this one we've assigned the spawner ID that it's going to go left so it has a value of negative one. This is going to be a turtle, how fast it moves, and then the spacing. Similar code up here with this spawn item is going to be a turtle. In this case it's going to have a length of two. For the logs on this side, by default, the, the spawner is going to create a log, so we don't have to specify anything, as well as it'll always default to like a length of three. This one we've we've added and modified it to, to have a length of six. This one is just uh, once again a length a movement speed. So looking at how this looks, we got the frog once again moving up here. In this case, if if you hit the water, once again we talk about that. the The player does a splash, but since we want to hit the the, the turtle, oops, I missed the throw. I have those a little tight.
So when you hit the either touch the, the log or the turtles, since they're considered a safe object, will be fine. If you hit an open space and hit water, you'll you'll fall in. Next time, what we'll do is we'll go over um, score and and the different waves, displaying that and how to show the game over uh, and wrap up wrap up. Uh, this game development session. So till next time, uh, good luck coding.